talk about how he would deal with the entitlements. And a lot of the things that he did talk about were simply recanned from things that he had said four years ago, like cutting oil exports. He never really explained, it seemed to me, why the next four years will be different than the last four have been. Back to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, revealed to us so powerfully in your Son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for showering your blessings upon this, our beloved nation. Bless all here present and all across this great land who work hard for the day when a greater portion of your justice and a more ample measure of your care for the poor and suffering may prevail in these United States. Help us to see that a society's greatness is found above all in the respect it shows for the weakest and neediest among us. We beseech you, Almighty God, to shed your grace on this noble experiment in ardent liberty, which began with the confident assertion of inalienable rights bestowed upon us by you, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thus do we praise you for the gift of life. Grant us the courage to defend it, life without which no other rights are secure. We ask your benediction on those waiting to be born, that they may be welcomed and protected. Strengthen our sick and our elders, waiting to see your holy face at life's end, that they may be accompanied by true compassion and cherished with the dig dignity to those who are infirm and fragile. We praise and thank you for the gift of liberty. May this land of the free never lack those brave enough to defend our basic freedoms. Renew in all our people a profound respect for religious liberty, the first, most cherished freedom bequeathed upon us at our founding. May our liberty be in harmony with truth, freedom ordered in goodness and justice, Help us live our freedom in faith, hope, and love. Make us ever grateful for those who for over two centuries have given their lives in freedom's defense. We commend their noble souls to your eternal care, as even now we beg the protection of your mighty arm upon our men and women in uniform. We praise and thank you for granting us the life and the liberty by which we can pursue happiness. Show us anew that happiness is found only in respecting the laws of nature and of nature's God. Empower us with your grace so that we might resist the temptation to replace the moral law with idols of our own making or to remake those institutions you've given us for the nurturing of life and community. May we welcome those who yearn to breathe free and to pursue happiness in this land of freedom adding their gifts to those whose families have lived here for centuries. We praise and thank you for the American genius of government, of the people, by the people, and for the people. O oh God of wisdom, justice, and might, we ask your guidance for those who govern us. President Barack Obama, Vice President Joseph Biden, Congress, the Supreme Court, and all those, including Governor Mitt Romney and Congressman Paul Ryan, who seek to serve the common good by seeking public office. Make them all worthy to serve you by serving our country and help them remember that the only just government is the government that serves its citizens rather than itself. With your grace, may all Americans choose wisely as we consider the future course of public policy. And finally, Lord, we beseech your benediction on all of us who depart from here this evening and on all those in every land who yearn to conduct their lives in freedom and justice. We beg you to remember, as we pledge to remember, those who are not free, those who suffer for freedom's cause, those who are poor, out of work, needy, sick, or alone, those who are persecuted for their religious convictions, those still ravaged by war. And most of all, God Almighty, we thank you for the great gift of our beloved country, for we are indeed one nation under God, and in God we trust. So dear God, bless America, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
to IndyCar and Noah Dolan offering the benediction here as he did at the end of the Republican National Convention. He's the Archbishop of New York. He's been an outspoken critic of the Obama administration, in particular uh, the requirement within the Obamacare health care law that uh, requires certain religious institutions to cover the cost of birth control, sterilization, and other related agents that's been modified since by the president, but not to the satisfaction of the Catholic Church. So we see him making a, an appearance at both conventions and offering prayers for both parties and all four candidates on top of these two tickets. As he promised down in Tampa, he would be fair and balanced in that benediction. Let's bring back our panel, Britt Hume, Juan Williams, and Steve Hayes. Juan, uh, President Obama can